So my name is Petra Fedrikova, and I would like to introduce you the paper Greedy Randomized Adaptive Search Procedure for a Close Enough Orienteering Problem, also accepted at the SAC IRMAS 2020 conference. So here we see several locations uh, that might represent sensors or wireless detectors. And our goal is to collect data from these sensors or communicate with these stations. One of the effective way uh, is to fly, to utilize some kind of uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. Here we can see a drone. In practice, the vehicle has only a limited battery, has only a limited fuel, uh, which does, doesn't allow visiting all of these locations. Therefore, we select only a subset of these locations based on their importance. Then the task is to find the subset, uh, order it, and find the precise red path within the subset, within those locations. This task, uh, the orienteering problem for the denoted SOP was firstly introduced uh, in 1987 by Golden and Vora. And it was derived from a sport called orienteering where the competitors managed to visit the most rewarding places within some time limit. It can be described as a combination of two combinatorial problems. Firstly, the Knapsack problem to determine a subset of locations to meet the budget, to meet the energy limits. And then the traveling salesman problem to find the shortest sequence of places within the subset from the Knapsack problem. On the right side, uh, you can see an example of OP instance with possible solution. And the rewards of those locations are depicted in colors, where the red represents the most rewarding one and the blue is for the least rewarding ones. Mm -hmm. And relatively recently, an extension of OP has been introduced to encounter a sensing radius, which allows to shorten the path and thus increase the collected reward. You can see this on the animation that with increasing growth, uh, the reward is increased. And this generalization is called the close enough orienteering problem, CEOP, where the locations expand the disk sensing area row. Uh, row. The original OP is strictly combinatorial, but the CEOP contains also a continuous optimization of the path connecting the selected sensing areas. In CEOP, we want to maximize the reward R. Uh, that is um, the collected uh, from the subset of locations in subject to several constraints. The first and major constraint is to fit the total path length into a travel budget T max, which may represent the battery, for example. And secondly, uh, we want to uh, find, we want to determine the waypoint locations of the path in which the reward is collected from the location. So it has to be within uh, some disk area uh, determined by specific row. You can see it by the semi-transparent area here on this picture. The CEOP is really challenging problem as was said, because it combines a discrete and continuous part. And in literature, we can find only two approaches how to tackle this problem. And we use them also as the baseline for our approach. The first is the growing uh, self-organizing array, which is an unsupervised learning based on principle of self-organizing map. This method was originally uh, developed for the traveling salesman problem or similar routing problems. And it is constructive heuristic that converges in several iterations, which provides the solution really quickly. However, once the solution is found, it cannot be further improved. 
In contrast, uh, at the same the algorithm, right? It can be improved otherwise. Uh, yeah, it can be improved, but only, <laughs> but the GSOA cannot find a better solution at that point. In contrast, the variable neighborhood search uh, is any time algorithm which iteratively tries to improve the current solutions using the variable neighborhood structures. So each iteration of the algorithm consists two phases. The first one is shake procedure, which tries to escape the local extreme by randomly using single insertion or exchange operator, sorry. <laughs> and secondly, the local search procedure, which tries to improve the current solution by path operators in the second column. In this paper, uh, we wanted to address the drawbacks of the two previously mentioned, uh, mentioned methods. The first one, GSOA, which is unable to escape the local extreme. And the second one, VNS, uh, which is very uh, computationally de demanding if we want to find high quality solution. Therefore, we utilize the greedy randomized adaptive search procedure, GRASP. Uh, that is also a constructive meta heuristics and was already used for the orienteering problem without the sensing uh, radius. And this method contains uh, two parts, uh, the construction phase. Uh, in the construction phase, locations are inserted in the path until the travel budget uh, is reached. Uh, and then the path is further improved in the local search phase. The main benefit of this algorithm is uh, that both, both phases are trying to escape uh, local optima, while the computational time is uh, comparable to GSOA. Notice that there uh, exist several implementations uh, as segment remove, which we used in our work, or path relinking. So at the beginning of GRASP construction phase, only the initial and final locations are connected. The remaining locations are attempted to be added to the current path, which increases the reward. All these paths are considered to be candidates for the uh, next iteration. And it's collected into a set called candidate list. To focus the search toward high quality solutions, we reduce the candidate list based on reward. The candidates with at least 20% uh, reward compared to the best one in the list uh, is considered further. And from this restricted list uh, is randomly chosen one path uh, for the next iteration and the other one are not further considered. Again, candidates paths are generated based on the remaining locations. However, now we have two possible positions for insertion and GRASP chooses the path with the shortest prolongation to enable further insertion. Let's see this one again. Okay. <laughs> Here again. Sorry, what did you ask? Uh, this is again, and uh, as before, our uh, old path within uh, with the new locations creates the restricted candidate list, and one continues as a current path. I was cycled in the animation, so sorry for that a little bit. Uh, now, when we add a new location, the travel budget is exceeded. Therefore, the newly created path cannot be considered uh, as a candidate. In such case, we try to remove part of the path to test if the inserted location is more beneficial to the total reward. And we call the method the segment remove. Paths with improved reward are included in the candidate list and the construction phase terminates when the candidate list in one iteration is empty, which means that no better solution has been found. Uh, concretely, the segment remove can be implemented 
uh, very effectively, effectively, and its complexity is linear. Let's consider this path, and we want to insert the location seven. Uh, however, the travel budget is exceeded. Thus, we need to find a segment to be removed to meet the budget, and we start the search for the subpath within the first location for and uh, to be so we start the search with one location to be removed and we test if the path is within the travel budget when the reward of the new path improves we add the path to the candidate list and then we move the beginning of the segment one step further to check the travel budget again so this whole process continues until the end of the path is reached. So we just shift the subpath, the uh, removed subpath. And finally, all possible segments at the end of the path are considered in a linear number uh, of steps compared to the uh, size to the length of the current path. So that's basically the uh, grasp for OP, and uh, uh, the construction phase. And now the current path is further improved in the local search phase. Uh, so the first step in local search phase is a single location, uh, is that a single location is attempt attempted to be removed from the path. And consequently, the path is shortened, uh, shortened by removing the cross segments using two opt optimization. Uh, since the path may be shortened by those two operations, uh, we attempted new insertion by the same algorithm uh, described in a construction phase. Uh, from all possible combinations, of those three methods uh, is selected the uh, best improvement and the whole process is repeated until no improved path is found. And thus this whole algorithm is uh, terminates and the solution is found. Uh, so in our paper, we wanted this algorithm extent uh, for the close enough OP, where the data can be collected considering disk shape, shape, disk shape sensing area. So in the first construction phase of grass algorithm, we have to determine a waypoint position from which the reward is collected for each inserted uh, uh, area. To do so, we used a straightforward uh, heuristic that determines the waypoint location as the closest point to the disk area uh, of the closest point of the disk area to the uh, path to the original path. And once the waypoint location is set, it is not updated in construction phase any further. Obviously, the path may be shortened by local waypoint optimization which enable to increase the collected reward further. Therefore, we executed uh, the local waypoint optimization also in the local search phase. And since we wanted to study the influence of the waypoint optimization in the local search phase, we implemented two approaches, one without the optimization in the local search phase denoted as GRASP, and one with the optimization denoted as grasp opt. These both grasp variants were examined on three existing data sets. Examples of diverse uh, instances are depicted. And we also compared them to the two existing approaches previously mentioned, GSOA and VNS, and also run those, algor uh, those algorithm on same data sets to show the enhancements of found solution by the grasp based method. 
here we can see the results for the house at 64 with 64 locations. Uh, it's in the middle here in diamond shaped structure with sensing radio 0 0.5 for each location. And in the uh, left plot, uh, you can see the average total reward for each budget relatively to the best found solution over all runs. The lines represent the mean reward and the semi-transparent areas represent the 80% non-parametric confidential uh, interval. Based on the computational time on the right side here, uh, both grasp variants are faster uh, than VNS. Uh, look at the logarithmic scale. But the grasp op obtain a similar total reward as the VNS. And compared to the GSOA, grasp opt obtained improved solution. So GSOA is red. Uh, and the grasp opt uh, has really similar computational time. So to conclude, uh, we extended the existing method grasp with segment remove to solve the channelization close enough orienteering problem with disk shape uh, sensing area. And this proposed approach achieved really excellent uh, results compared to the two existing methods. So GRASP obtained a better solution than the growing self-organizing array and spend less computational time than the variable neighborhood search. So in future, we wanted to implement a better waypoint determination, uh, which was already uh, presented in my bachelor thesis and uh, again, improved the uh, results. And now we may use the grass -based, al based algorithm for the close enough traveling salesman problem, or we can also modify the algorithm to consider the Dubbin's path from Christina's presentation to consider the curvature constraint uh, vehicle path. So that's all. Thank you for your attention and feel free to ask again.